In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I created this motion poster using a very low resolution image. And I'm gonna scale this up and enhance this using a very interesting AI tool called Hitpo Photo Enhancer. And also they are a sponsor of today's video. Let's get started. All right, let's go to their website. The link will be there in the description down below. So you can see here, it's free to download their software. You have a few tries, however, it's not free to use their service forever. It costs a few dollars, but it will be really worth the investment. Okay, let's download this and install it. It's pretty straightforward. I have already installed it in my system. Let me just open it. Let me go ahead and try to enhance this image. So you can see it's pixelated. It's not usable at all for the motion poster, but we're gonna make it usable using their photo enhancement tool. So let's close this out. So let's go here in the AI enhancer. We're gonna choose file. We're gonna choose this Wukong, which is very popular lately. It's a video game character. Let me just import it. At the right side, you can see different modes. Hover the mouse like this and you can see what are the features and you can denoise it. You can expose an underexposed image, which I will be covering it in a while. So let's go back to the face model for this and we're gonna select the face. So let's just select the face, okay. This Wukong character, very cool. Done. And let's just, you know, hit this preview. Okay, let's just wait for a while. So you can see here at the bottom, it's rendering. It's giving us a preview. All right, here is a before and after. You can zoom it. So the left side is the original image and the right side you have the enhanced image. So you can see the hair, a lot of detail has been restored, but we can, you know, make it better. Let's just export it. You can go here in the gear icon and you can see there's some settings here. You can save the file in a different directory, but I'm gonna go to same as source and hit okay, and I'm gonna export this, okay? So let's just see here. So 70 KB turned into 10 megabytes. So that's a lot of detail. So let me just show you the before and after. This is the before, and let's just open the, the other one, which is this. This is the after. Let's just put it side by side, and let's just zoom this. This is the before. And this is the after, okay? We're not done with this, just hold on. Let me just close this out. Go back to the software. We're gonna hit this back button, add. We're gonna import that again. You can see here at the bottom, you can see this is the previous project and this is the new project. Okay, we can just close out the previous project. This time we're gonna do some noise reduction because at the background you can see some chromatic aberrations going on. The purple fringes at the background, we're gonna remove that and we're gonna bring some more detail in, in the face and the hair. This time we're not gonna select this face model. Just go and select this denoised model and we're gonna hit this preview. Let's just wait for a while, it's gonna take a while. So let me just wait, 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 and it will be done in a moment. Almost there. It's almost there because the higher the resolution, it's gonna take a longer time. Look at that. Let me just zoom in. So this is the before and this is the after. Look at the level of detailing here. It's just amazing how, how much of a detail has been restored here. You can see the beard, the hairs, and you know, you can see the textures. You can see that. It's very, very cool. And you can see the background, okay? It's very clean. By the way, we're gonna remove the background using this tool as well. So once I am happy with this, I am going to export it again. So you can see here, it's, it has turned into a 26 megabyte file, which is very, very huge for, in, for a low resolution image like this. You can zoom in, this is the final product, okay? So this is very, very insane, you know? So let's go back and go and hit the home button. We don't want this anymore, hit yes. And what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna remove the background of that character, okay? So let's go inside this background remover and let me just bring this final image that we have. So this is the image. I'm gonna drag and drop it here, simple as that. Just wait for the software to analyze it. 
All right, okay, here is the final output. So you can see the background has been removed very, very nicely. You can go to the background and you can select any color background. But for this example, we're gonna use this in, as an After Effects project. And the cool thing about this software is it can export it as a transparent background, PNG. And we're gonna wait for a while so it's rendering the image. All right, so here I have the image, the final image, which is the transparent background, you can see. All right, let's put this aside for now. I'm gonna come back later on and I'm gonna show you how I make the motion poster design for this Wukong game character, okay? Let me just put this aside and let's go back to the software itself. Let's go back and let's just hit the home button. We don't need this anymore. And this time we're gonna do photo enhancer again. Let's just choose this underexposed image. So here is the image and we're gonna select this low light model and hit preview. Let's just wait for a while. It's gonna take a while to, to enhance this. All right, it's done. Look at that. It's exposed very nicely. You can see the level of detailing and the exposure. It's very, very nice. So you, after you're done with the this, you can hit this export and you're done. This is the before and this is the after. It's very, very cool. All right, I wanna show you another feature of this software, which is an AI image generator. Let's go to AI generator and let's generate AI images. Just that. You can see some styles here. So we're gonna pick a style of a cyber city girl. Use the 19 by 9 by 16 and you can select the resolution here. And let's just stick with this and let's just hit the generate. Okay, let's wait for the software to generate an image for us. All right, so you can see that it's generating an image for us. So I have a picture. I'm gonna transform this image into this style, okay? You can go here in the image, upload image. Just go and select the image of this girl, open, and we're gonna hit generate again, and we're gonna wait for a while. Okay, here are the images. All right, that is very cool, look at that. It's very, very nice. You can also try different options. Let's just go back. You have so many other, uh, so many other presets. Let's just try this black Wukong again here. Let's just wait for the software to generate an image for us. All right, here is the images. You can see that it's very, very cool. You can see this, look at that, look at that. It's perfect. It's very, very cool. You can just go and download this. You can click that and you see this here you can remove the background using this software itself and you can use it for your motion poster in after effects also okay so let's just close this out so as you can see here it also has a bunch of other features like retouch you can remove anything from an image you can generate an ai portrait uh, photo id and you can also upscale a low resolution image into a very high resolution image just like this okay just go and check out their website it's hit power photo enhancer it's a very very cool tool especially to upscale a very low pixelated images into a very high usable asset. All right, here I am in After Effects. Let's just import this Wukong image that we have extracted out the background using Hitpo Photo Enhancer. Just drag and drop this image. And I'm gonna just drag it inside the new composition here. And maybe I'm gonna lower the resolution. Maybe that's very, very high. 1080 by 1920 hit okay and let me just scale it down just scale it just to fit the composition just like that make this a 3d la layer what i did was create a new camera create a new null object which is 3d and i'm gonna parent this camera to the null all right hit p on the keyboard for the null set a position keyframe go a few frames maybe around five seconds and I'm gonna dolly in something like that, okay? Pretty simple, straightforward. Select all the keyframes, right click keyframe assistant, easy ease. And what I'm gonna do is import the background, set this a 3D layer, hit P on the keyboard and move the background far away. 
and I'm gonna scale it back up and put it somewhere here so what I'm having is this it's already very cool okay let me just drag in another layer which is a uh, smoke make this a 3d layer as well and I'm gonna hit P and move it towards the camera and hit S and scale it down since this has a black background I'm gonna change this blending mode to screen and what I'm having is this that is very very cool so what I did was duplicate this layer select the bottom layer and I'm gonna add fill and I added a black color fill and what I did was go to the first frame and select the duplicated layer and I grab the pen tool and I'm gonna draw a mask on the sides here don't have to be precise just leave some space here and go here and basically we're gonna create a shadow fall off for this character so we don't have to be super precise on this so this is it and what I'm gonna do is hit F and feather it you can just disable the mask and you can see here and maybe go and go to expansion I'm gonna, I'm gonna expand it even further and that's very nice you can lower the opacity of the below layer which is this 50% and that way you have a very nice fall off shadow so what I also did in the original example was I painted out a painted out an eye in Photoshop and I exported the image which is this one this is the eye that I exported out let me just import this inside the project and make this a 3d layer and I'm gonna position it perfectly if you have a sharp edge here you can grab this pen tool and you can just draw a mask subtract and hit feather 20 pixel something like that and move this eye here and when it zooms in and maybe around three seconds or so you can just open the eye like that okay that's how I created that and the last thing what I also did was I also add a depth of field you can play around with this aperture and blur level and you can also animate the focus distance Alright guys, check out Hitpo Photo Enhancer. The link will be there in the description down below. This is Motion Designer and I will see you in my next video. Take care.